Let's just get right into the intro. Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. I just posted a video a few short hours ago that documents an exploit that so far as we know affects Intel CPUs and allows hackers to access low-level memory that they shouldn't be able to. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check that out right up here. Well, Intel has officially given their response, and it's understandably more damage control than anything. I've read it and pieced together some thoughts, so let's just go over it. First, let's make our way down to the second paragraph where Intel states, and I quote, Recent reports that these exploits are caused by a bug or a flaw and are unique to Intel products are incorrect. So that's a pretty heavy sentence. The exploits they're referring to is mentioned above, and I quote, when used for malicious purposes, have the potential to improperly gather sensitive data from computing devices that are operating as designed. I'm sorry, but that definitely sounds like a bug or at least flaw in the design if you ask me. But see, they mention the bug or flaw part and then state that they aren't unique to Intel's products. They go on in that second paragraph to say, Based on the analysis to date, many types of computing devices with many different vendors, processors, and operating systems are susceptible to these exploits. Basically, Intel is going, but other people have the problem too. Huh. I don't even know what to make of this. They say it's not a bug or a flaw, yet it can be exploited to gather sensitive data. So you tell me what that could be called. And then they go and say, but we aren't alone. They even make an almost obvious attempt at randomly bringing up AMD. They don't say their CPUs have the same flaw, they just say that they're working closely with many other technology companies, including AMD. Like some random jab to inject the idea that AMD has a similar flaw since this is right after saying other companies do. But so far, the only word we have from AMD is from an engineer stating their CPUs aren't susceptible to this flaw. Intel then states that they made these statements because of the current inaccurate media reports. But what inaccurate media reports? No one said it's 100% only Intel. That's just all we know of so far, and AMD has all but officially stated their CPUs don't carry the same problem. Now, d don't get me wrong here. There very well may be other processors that suffer from a similar flaw. Like how they mention ARM holdings right next to AMD as a way of mentioning names, but not really mentioning names. Them pretending a pretty bad exploit isn't a bug or a flaw, just it all just kind of seems a little bit ridiculous. But maybe I'm genuinely missing something here. I don't have anything against Intel. I've been called an Intel fanboy and an AMD fanboy. But regardless, this just seems like a way of pulling others down when you should just be explaining that you're fixing the problem. And don't get me wrong, I even understand stating that you aren't the only ones, but I don't know. It just came across wrong, I guess. What do you think, though? Is Intel making the right move here, or are they just throwing mud at the problem hoping it gets fixed? Let me know down in the comments below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all things gaming hardware. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.